Hema Consotia is praying for the strength to create real change to improve the life of her fellow Dalits, the untouchables of India's caste society. Hema is a union activist and a college graduate. She's trying to convince these women, the wives of Dalit laborers, that they are entitled to compensation should their husbands become ill on the job. Their children have earned the right to equal schooling along with children of higher castes. But these Dalit parents complain that children are forced to eat separately in schools with different plates and utensils. It is terrible that the caste system is prevalent in the 21st century, and this is happening in Delhi. Imagine what the conditions are in the villages. Apart from the women, Hema tries to drum up support among the Dalit day laborers. Now, when you started off, there were men, even among the Dalits, that saw you as a threat. How did you deal with this? Uh, of course, just uh, chalk when I started working, I was very young. I was barely 23 years old. A lot of people used to hang around, drunk. They used to whistle at me and tease me. I ignored them. This went on for six months. I didn't give up. But one day, someone crossed the limits. I got very angry and held him by his collar and gave him three or four slaps. Afterwards, those workers also realized that this girl has some real guts. The workers even congratulated me that evening. Her biggest challenge is the battle for a better future for Dalit children. Hema has established mobile education centers deep in the Delhi slums. We cannot do it alone, they sing. But if we act together, we can turn the world upside down. When proper training is provided for these children, they become good artists. One of the girls also joined the police force. After classes, this boy wants to take Hema to meet his parents. They want to put on a show in honor of Hema. The story is of a concerned maiden who has been promised to a young man in marriage. The maiden is frightened of her future mother-in-law. She's known to be mean and looks down on her. It's only a fairy tale, but it is a fear that actually concerns Hema. Hema is 32 years old. It's a late age to marry and have children in India. She's too educated to easily find a Dalit husband, but her class deters many other acceptable men from considering marrying her. There's still a caste system in India. It's a problem. Do you think you'll ever marry? It is a matter of dignity. If the boy or his family look down upon me, then I am not willing to compromise. We have lived the pain of untouchability. So if they have these kinds of feelings, then it would be impossible for me. Only someone who doesn't believe in the caste system and who is open-minded, he is the one with whom I would spend my life, no one else. Unmarried, she lives with her mother and father. Hema's brother and his family come over. <laughs> Hema deeply wishes for children of her own. Home has always been a personal battlefield. Her mother was married off to her father at the age of 11. When Hema dared to pass the university entrance exams, he locked her in the house to prevent her from getting an education. It was a very difficult time for me. My biggest support during those times was my mother. My mother is completely illiterate. She cannot even sign her name. But she has gone through the pain of being an illiterate person and being the victim of child marriage. So she decided that she would educate her daughter, whatever may be. My father also beat her up for this. 
Even today, she has to listen to a lot of comments from him. Look at your daughter. What is that she keeps doing? Who does she keep hanging out with? But my mother never lost her determination. She is my sacred guru. उन्हें वाक्य में बहुत दर्द गीला मेरे पीछे लेकिन वो हिम्मत से आगे हेमा कैरीज हर मदर स्पिरिट व्हेन शी प्रेज After appealing to the gods, Hema builds a simple house. It's a house of stone, but what she prays for is a house of her own, a house of love, a house of acceptance, not only for herself, but also for the more than 160 million Dalits living in India. For World Focus, this is Martin Himmel in Delhi.